Good morning, everyone. Welcome back to the channel. Today we are here at Dollar Tree. We're gonna go ahead and look at some of the food items, items that we should all be stocking up on and throwing in our pantry. Let's get to it. First thing I wanted to check out when we came into Dollar Tree here, some of the different canned goods. Notice they got a lot of things spread out here. They got their Harvest Del Monte vegetables here. $1.25, that's a pretty okay price these days. Got their Bell's olives here. I gotta say, I really like these olives. They have shrunk in size over the years, but for $1.25, olives have really been getting expensive in some places. So look at that, good until 2027. So we got some long shelf life items. Just curious on this one here, let's see. This is uh, June 2025, so we got about a year on this one. I remember I recommended somebody check out Dollar Tree for their Del Monte sliced beets, and I haven't seen them since. It's been a long time since I've seen them here at Dollar Tree. But let's see, that's good until December 2025. Yeah, long time. Good to see those coming back in here. We've got the Libby's Mandarin oranges. These are pretty good. They're pretty good. October 2026. Wow. Yeah, see some long shelf items, long shelf life items here at Dollar Tree. Always good to see here. They got the Margaret Holmes here, seasoned butter beans. Good stuff right here. Something else good to have in your pantry. That is good until January 2027. Pretty awesome. Now, I got a good comment on these Clark uh, chicken, uh, white meat chicken here. Let's see. Now, this has that flip tab, so this may not be as long. This is good until December 15th, 2024, so not as long as a... not. A huge shelf life on this because it's got the pull tab so you want to watch for those got their different cans of tuna here look at this got some bumblebee here a ripped off tag bumblebee now this has the uh, this is a sealed can so yeah July 19th 2025 so a little over a year on that but see it doesn't have the pull tab the pull tabs always gonna have a little bit of a lesser shelf life uh, but they do it for convenience, I guess. I don't know. I'd rather just have the one you need a can opener for, and it lasts longer, to be honest with you. Um, also, it uh, completely prevents air from getting in it at all. Uh, let's see. Well, now that's good until 2027. Good until 2027. So, yeah. Long shelf life on that. And that's the uh, Kreider chicken. Always get good comments on the Kreider Deluxe White Chicken. Most of you have been on the channel for a while know that I love to stock up on the Brunswick tuna salad This is the cheapest way to go anymore, and it is made by Bumblebee So you're getting the same thing. It's even the same size. Some people have said this one's smaller. It is not. It is three ounces The only difference in smaller size is the price dollar 25 for these and then it could be anywhere from 250 I saw them for 259 the other day for the Bumblebee so you can get two of these for the price of one Bumblebee so you know same thing these are really good chicken salad's good too i prefer the tuna salad didn't really care for the buffalo style i do like a lot of lemon pepper uh tuna stuff but i didn't really care for this one i usually just get the regular they do sell these too though they got the chicken of the sea tuna packets here dollar 25 these can get expensive in some places i got the bumblebee packets as well do you like the bum oh here's one i like the pepper and sea salt get out of there let's see and that is, do they have a best of by date on that? I don't know. Oh, here it is. Uh, best by December 2025. So these have a long, a little bit of a long shelf life. I mean, that's about a year and a half. Not too bad. They got more of the bumblebee up here. The lemon and pepper. I did like this one. This is pretty good. Let's check that. Uh, they got one. You can always tell when one's good. They always got one left here product of thailand and that is only good until october 2024 so that one has probably been sitting there for a while although we can pretty much find chef boyardee on sale everywhere for a dollar 25 a can um they do sell them here at dollar tree but the big one here is some of the different campbell soups like the different tomato chicken uh, with rice they got the 30 percent bigger cans Okay, 30% bigger cans. These are 13 and a half ounce cans as to where the ones, the 10.5 ounce cans at like Kroger or pretty much anywhere else are going to be uh, $1.29 also. So you're, you're saving four cents, okay, and you're getting 30% more. So well worth it. Also, this does not have the pull tab on it. So let's see. Oh, let's 
see what the date is here on that. 2026. So I've seen them as high out as 2027 already. So yeah, that one's probably been sitting there for a while, but still pretty, pretty good long best if used by date on that. Dollar Tree's motto, grab it before it's gone. Boy, that ain't, ain't that the truth. I notice they're getting in a lot of more different kinds of ramen in here. Never seen this one here. I've never seen this sriracha. Oh, wait, no, I've seen this one before. But let's see. Yeah, I've seen the Fireball. Haven't seen this one, though. Anything? Anything? Have you, has anybody out there tried this one? The Udon? Tempura Udon? Udon? Also got more of the different chow mein in here, too. I know this is a very popular one. This is $1.50 pretty much everywhere else. $1.25 here. They also have the Yaki Soba. I prefer this one, but, you know, that's just me. That's my opinion. Got the chicken flavor in here. They got the, ooh, they got the spicy chicken. They haven't had this one in a while. Yeah, that one's pretty good. They've got the Healthy Choice canned goods here. Now, I've been seeing these more and more in places, and they've been from a dollar fit, well, like a dollar fifty nine at some other places. Now, I quit getting this, but I've noticed an advertise change. I don't know. Maybe they were listening. Also, doesn't have a pull tab. Um, I used to get these all the time when they were a dollar. Then I noticed they just didn't taste the same anymore. It's good until April 2026. Um, they didn't change, or they changed like something in the recipe, and it just doesn't taste the same to me anymore. Look at this. I got Homestyle in here now. Camel's Homestyle. These are like $2.99 in some other places. Wow. Okay. That's good until September 4th, 2025, so we have a year and a few months on that one. Well, they've got their stuffing mix here for chicken or turkey, the McTrader. The McTrader. Huh. I don't know. Never tried this. Let me know if that stuffing is any good. I've got the tapito, tapatio, uh, different uh, mac and cheese here. And then this one is the uh, ramen noodle soup right here. And then they've got these different deluxe macaroni in here. Uh, somebody was saying that this one was really good. They also have the shells and cheese version, uh, which if you're going to pay $1.25, I don't know, usually the creamier one. I don't know. I like them both. I love macaroni and cheese. Yeah, all kinds of reasons to shop at Dollar Tree here. But, you know, something like this, though, you know, if you have a Meyer, they sell a lot of the different Ortega uh, products, and they have them usually on a pretty good sale. But right here we got the Knorr rice sides. Sometimes they'll, you know, they'll have, they only have a couple, right? They got some of the pasta sides here, but they're always a dollar twenty-five, not on sale at some stores. Dollar thirty-five to a dollar thirty-nine in some places. I did see them on sale, uh, four for four, uh, at Meyer, I believe. Oh, they've got the Hungry Jack in here. Somebody was talking about this, saying this is better than uh, the, uh, oh, what is that one? Hamburger Helper, right there. <laughs> also got Hamburger Helper with black beans. Hmm. That is a big portion here. Oh, that's like the for tacos. Oh, it's like a taco mix. That's interesting. But yeah, somebody was saying the uh, Hungry Jack's actually better. Got the beef pasta and they got the cheeseburger mac here. Never, never tried either one of them. Spices continue to be an issue everywhere around Cincinnati, Ohio. No exception here at um dollar tree but the more expensive they get in the stores which they have been going up we've seen a lot of spices go up in price the more and more people are just going to start going other places uh i got the ground pepper here dollar 25 i got the garlic pepper seasoning here you get a pretty good amount here for a dollar 25 also this is the 5.4 ounces again i don't see any cinnamon there was a huge recall on their cinnamon a while back it looks like they're still not getting it in we got some ground paprika there. We got some chopped uh, chopped chives here. And here we got some parsley flakes. Yeah, I mean, you know, they're still getting in a good amount, but they're definitely, definitely a lot lower than they usually are. Checking out some of the coffee here as to where it is pretty low. Uh, checking out this first. They got the equal packets here. Uh, somebody was saying they, they've been getting these at Dollar Tree because it's cheaper than some other stores for even the bigger amount. So $1.25 50 pack equals not cheap. More importantly, the original. Uh, I haven't seen the sucralose one that they have or this. Uh, they do have the saccharin. This is the one everybody wants. So they also got sweet and low here. And I think that's 50 packets as well. It is 50 packets, $1.25. How many times will Dano say $1.25 today? 
I will try not to say it as much as I usually do. Uh, they got some of this coffee right here. Instant coffee, 2.82 ounces, $1.25 for that. Also, the Ferrelli creamer. This is something that has not been coming in. Uh, I saw it the last time I was here, but before that, I hadn't seen it for a while. I do notice that it has shrunk a little bit in size. Well, they've got their modern pantry milk down here. A lot of people like this stuff. Um, one thing, I don't see any of the silver, or like the almond milk, and that's good until February of 2025, so not even a year out on that. And they've got some of the sweetened condensed creamer here. See, no tab on that, so that's good. Uh, things with tabs on it, they don't last as long. This is good until, I can't even read that. Uh, April of 2025 so yeah a little less than a year on that one too they got some of this Jim Beam bourbon vanilla coffee here I know a lot a lot of people on the channel seem to like this one they do not have doesn't look like they have any of the Harry and David except for this four pack of the Keurig cups right here so they're out of the Harry and David that everybody likes they got these uh, different fruit bar crisp down here these are nice you know a little bit of energy you know they're not they're okay they're okay i've never actually tried the apple cinnamon which i think there was a oh this is what i've tried the pastry crisp and i got the strawberry is that it mixed berry okay yeah and there's another modern pantry oat right there but yeah this is the one i tried it's pretty good i mean it wasn't bad dollar 25 you can't beat it Another nice thing to have, especially because they're kept fresh and prices on cereal are just ridiculous everywhere else. Uh, I know a few people on the channel that like to stock up on these things because it keeps them fresh and it has a sealable uh, uh, thing in here. Gluten free, by the way. Lucky Charms. I mean, you know, I remember when these were a dollar, but $1.25 still, you know, when you compare it to some of the prices at some other grocery stores, it's not really too bad. And if you have these, they're going to stay fresh. A lot longer they actually have some regular sugar down here that's hard to find here at Dollar Tree anymore it's usually sold out they got some of the powdered sugar as well and light brown sugar but the hardest one to come in here at Dollar Tree is the granulated sugar if you don't use a lot of sugar I mean it's a dollar twenty it's a pound for dollar twenty five sugar prices are you well know, you can get four pounds for right around three dollars so it's better to really get that but if you're shopping at Dollar Tree anyway and you don't use much sugar yeah it's not bad they have the tropical sweetened coconut flakes here, which I won't even touch because I'm allergic. Uh, someone, one of our longtime viewers said, it's been a little while, said you haven't been able to find them at your Dollar Tree. Uh, they're hit or miss. Uh, I did see them the last time I was here, but before that, it had been a few different times where they didn't have these in. Also got these Betty Crocker little items here. I think this is nice. Get you some quick sweet fix here. Some peanut butter, fudge brownies. Got the Pillsbury ones right here. Just made these blueberry uh, muffins one time by Martha White. I thought they were pretty good different cake mixes here always good to have in the pantry again conquer that sweet sweet tooth there they've got these little bags of chopped walnuts and stuff too i haven't seen these i haven't seen these i got i mean it's been i have seen them just been a while they got the chopped pecans you're not getting much but you know if you're just making like a, a pie or something i mean this would be perfect actually i don't know that might not be enough pecans for a pecan pie but this is definitely enough walnuts for something We've got the uh, Cezanne Goya here. Different seasoning, a unique seasoning, as they say. Interesting. And got some of the Hungry Jack pancake mix here, the original. Um, let's see, that is one pound, 16 ounces for $1.25. Really ain't too bad these days. I got the Instant Oatmeal here by Harvest Hill. Only got, this is popular. A lot of people like this. It's the maple and brown sugar. Probably got to add a little more brown sugar to it. I've always said that about Kroger. Here they've got the lemon juice here. Big thing of lemon juice. Different cream cheeses by Pillsbury. And here's we got some fake honey. <laughs> I don't know. I mean, it's it's not fake, I guess. It's a blend syrup, though. So you're not getting, like, it's not like 100, you know, read the ingredients. You know, make sure it's something. I don't know. Um, I think we tried this a while ago. I don't think, I'm not, I like real raw honey. So this would definitely not work for me. But it is something that's small enough and a dollar twenty-five. You know, if you if you like it, if you tried it before, definitely worth picking up, put it in your pantry. I don't know what I don't if this has an expiration, you know it's not real. Uh I don't see anything. Huh. 
I don't know. Maybe it'll last forever. Now here's something I really like is the Miss Miller's Bacon Spread. I know you don't get much in there, but I've bought up a few of these. Uh, let's see. That is... I should probably check mine at home. Let's see. Best Buy 2026. So got a while on that one. Those are delicious. Uh, and then they have... I saw something down here. Yeah. So if you're wanting to make cupcakes or something, you know. These things are kind of expensive in some places now. This is 90 cups. 90 cupcake cups for $1.25 ain't bad. And this is in a weird spot right here. They got the flavored Italian crumbs here. $1.25. And they also have the plain panko crumbs up here for $1.25 as well. Kind of in a weird spot. When I was looking at the Del Monte Harvest Vegetables here, I forgot to mention the Goya beans here. Um, these are hit or miss always at Dollar Tree because this is the cheapest place to get them, $1.25. You know, they're not going to have the selection as like Walmart. The last time I checked Walmart, they were $1.42 a can for the same ones that you get here for $1.25. So a little cheaper here. They do got, they got them all in, really. They got the black beans, the red beans, and the pinto beans. So I don't see the, uh, I don't see the uh, garbanzo beans. Yeah. I don't know. They might. Oh nope. There's some. There's some in the back there. But yeah, that's you know. I mean, save a little bit if you're coming to Dollar Tree anyway. These are good to have. Now these are the pull tabs. Some of the pull tabs. So let's check the date here. Best by 12 one 2028. So maybe I don't know. Maybe they have figured out the science in this or something. 2028. That is a very long shelf life for a pull tab. Good to see they got some dry beans in here. Don't forget, though, these did shrink in size. It's been a while. It's been a while, but they are all 12 ounces now. 12 ounces. The last one to go down was the uh, red beans here. Let's see. And I do believe these are 12 ounces. Yep. See? 12 ounces now. $1.25, though. You know, we've been seeing prices on dry beans go up. We've also seen prices on rice go up lately. Uh, I haven't noticed it too much myself, but a lot of viewers have been talking about price increases on rice. So something to keep in mind, they still have, they got the jasmine down there. Got the long grain white rice right here, $1.25 a bag. And these things I don't feel are going to change in price. They have these Savi Fair. Uh, I don't know. We haven't gotten, we've probably gotten more bad reviews on this than good. So I've never tried it. So I've tried to eat Regal. Uh, I don't see that here today. Um, it was okay. wasn't wasn't the best. More good things to throw in the pantry here. We got the Columbia spaghetti, which is not only is it good spaghetti, but again, you get twenty five percent more. You get twenty five percent more, dollar twenty five, but you're getting four extra ounces. Most in the grocery stores are only sixteen ounces. This is twenty ounces, dollar twenty five, and it's pretty good. They still have our barbecue sauce in here. Somebody asked the last time before we came here, I pointed it out. This is the barbecue sauce that Jessica uses for our meatloaf, her meatloaf. Uh, the sweet brown sugar by Kraft. It just, it, it is amazing on the meatloaf. Sweet and spicy. Never tried that one. I don't know. Jessica's not real big on spiky. This one, or spicy. Uh, this one here, it, I will say it is very smoky. So if you like the hickory smoke type flavor, you may it's a little overkill if you ask me but i liked it i thought it was okay but you don't want if you're cooking with it you don't want to use too much but this one right here use as much as you want they've got the different breckenridge pickles here i think these pickles are just fine i have fallen in love with myers bread and butter pickles i just i don't know you start getting they're cheap it's like a dollar 99 unless they went up it's been a while i bought a couple bottles the last time best buy uh, August of 2025. So we got about a year and a couple months on that. They got their olives down here. These are stuffed with the minced pimentos. Let's see, that is good. Uh, best by February 24th, 2027. That has a long shelf life. That's awesome. Yeah, always good to check those things. Uh, I figure I normally don't check all the different dates and everything like I am today, but I figure we're looking for things that we can throw in our pantry and, you know, forget about for a little while. So try this is what I would be doing off camera for myself. Um, wow, that is good. And Oh, I thought that's it. That's best if used by um, June 22nd, 2026. I thought that's I thought that's a 2028 at first. Yeah, 2026. That Goya hot sauce is pretty good. Um, Texas Pete hot sauce right here. Good to see this coming back in. 
at our Dollar Tree. And that is good. Uh, about a year and a half here. We got June or uh, December of 2025. Um, and is that really gonna? <laughs> for for me, hot sauce don't last too long. I, I use hot sauce a lot. I like Frank's Red Hot. I know it's not really that hot, but uh, I put that stuff on everything. Let's see. We got this uh, Pantry Basics hot sauce here. Don't think I've ever tried this one. And this is a plastic with a plastic thing. I'm expecting this isn't gonna have as long of a date on it. Let's see here. Yeah. Uh, April 2nd, 2024. Oh, no. Okay. Yeah, 2025. October of 2025. So, yeah, it does have a long expiration there. Some different little Italian directions. Again, you know, this is good that they sell these. I like that they sell the 8 ounces because if you're not going to use a lot of salad dressing, why waste it? Why spend the extra money? $1.25 here. Uh, these are $3.49 for 16 ounces regular price at Kroger. So, you know, it's better to really get them here anyway. And, you know, Kraft Ranch, it's okay. I mean, it's not really the salad dressing that we use, but hey, you know, it's good to have and to have while it's available, especially for this price. Got some Thousand Island here. Yeah. I, I have tried the uh, Craft Thousand Island. It's okay. Also, rolling back past the spices here, I did want to show you they do have some salt in here. Salt has been an issue again. Uh, here's some kosher salt here. And here is some coarse salt, sea salt. And they've got their regular iodized salt down here. Let's see, and those are 79 cents, not $1.25. They've got their apple snacks, uh, applesauce coming back in. And I'll tell you what, it's really not that bad of a deal. And it's good applesauce. I like it. Um, this And this is good for about a year and a few months. Good until September 9th, 2025. Yeah, pretty good. I also have the Lucky Leaf here. I don't know. I've never tried this. Uh, I think we got a couple good comments on it. Um, yeah, I don't know. It's... I guess it's in the right spot. I haven't seen that at Dollar Tree in a while. These breakfast things, you know, they're okay. I've tried the blueberry ones. Uh, yeah, I mean, way cheaper than the Belvita ones. Uh, Belvita's gotten really expensive. And really, I don't know. I don't know if you can really compare those. They don't really taste too much the same. But got a lot of the different snacks. They got the Toastums here that a lot of people seem to like. They've got the pineapple tidbits. Although, maybe a better deal to get the can... And just, I don't know, put it in the fridge when you're done. That's only good until September 10th, 2024. So this has probably been here a while. Let's take one from the back. See if that's got a longer date on it. Oh, okay. November 14th, 2024 for that one. So, yeah. Um, I don't know. These things definitely have a less of a shelf life. So you want to keep that in mind. As far as condiments go... I don't know. I feel like we can we can find these cheaper. Like Aldi has like their mustard usually. I think it's a big thing of it for 95 cents or their Berman's ketchup. Uh actually that's gone up. That's a dollar eighty-five, but I think it's thirty-eight ounces for the Berman's ketchup. Uh Hunt's is kind of cheap. I mean it's like cheap everywhere. No preservatives. Let's note that. This is 14 ounces. Um yeah, for a dollar twenty, I don't know. I feel like some condiments we can find cheaper. I will say the deli market, like the downtown spicy brown, that is pretty good. Uh, and of course, you guys know I love the raspberry reserves. I don't see them. Just the strawberry here. Let's see. I've had one person, one person said they didn't like these the last time I came to Dollar Tree. I don't know. We got a lot of fans of that on the channel. And I do think I'm one of the only ones that uh, likes this peanut butter here. I haven't got many good reviews on it, but I don't know. I think it's all right. Uh, and somebody said that this is actually better than Nutella, this nuttastic uh, hazelnut spread, I guess. That is good until July 2025, so about a year and a month on that. Oh, they've got their little butter cookies in. Danish style butter cookies. And you actually get an okay amount here for $1.25. I mean, it's not huge. It's not groundbreaking. But I'll tell you what, they're good. They're good. Okay, well, I'm going to do it here. I'm going to do it. I don't know. Uh, somebody said, I love the Girl Scout Thin Mint cookies. And one of our longtime viewers said that these are better. These are better. I know they're way cheaper. 
way cheaper. Um, but again, I don't, you know, it's a, we like donating to the Girl Scouts, so we get those anyway. But yes, gonna try these. Gonna try these as to where I love the Thin Mints. Also, I know we're stocked up on this, but go ahead and buy an extra one because uh, I'm here and they have it. Well, they've got these old fashioned ginger snaps in. And we've gotten some comments on that one. I like these uh, Bud's Best cookies here. These are the vanilla wafers. I like that they're bite size, makes for a nice little snack. Um, also, I like it in banana pudding. It goes really well. Now, vanilla wafers, the Nabisco, those have gotten really expensive. Those are like $5 a box. Now, they're an 11 ounce box. These are six ounces, but if you buy two of these, you're getting one more ounce than what you get in the Nabisco. And you're only spending two dollars and fifty cents and yeah i think they taste pretty close to the same something also good to have in the pantry in case you're on the run you need to pack a quick sandwich are these 40 zipper bags by sure fresh always good to have packing a lunch they got these kind this one here too these are 58 of the zipper bags storage right here they do sell hefty but you're going to get a lot less you get a lot less they do sell some of the so you know like if you you know what i've done sometimes now it depends on what you're putting in them right but i mean you can wash these bags if you're careful you can wash these bags and reuse them we've done that a lot uh sometimes the zipper thing will wear out you know and it won't work anymore but i try to get like two or three uses out of every bag oh they're getting their sure fresh containers back in guys these are solid these are solid. These are nice. These are nice. For $1.25, this is three of them. Three of them for $1.25. It's a good deal. Uh, they do sell like these McCormick ones. Um, and I'll tell you what, that's nice too. That's nice too. And you get two of them. Two of them for $1.25. That is a heck of a deal, you know, because <laughs> with prices the way they're, you know, we don't waste anything. We really don't. Uh, we've been. Uh, being mindful of leftovers, kind of separating things out so they don't lose as much taste, like when you reheat them or stuff like that, you know? I mean, it's these kind of things we gotta do to save money these days, guys. Like, Jessica made a roast the other day. I split that into, like, little meals so I could have it for lunch every day until it's gone. Jessica, she's probably having it for lunch right now as we speak. Good stuff. Got all these different pictures. I love Dollar Tree. This place is so awesome. I mean, you can save an absolute fortune here and it's like, hey, you know, you need a nice coffee cup. I had one of these for years. I bought one of these when they were a dollar. And it's, I, I still have it to this day. As a matter of fact, it's the same exact one right here. I don't use it. I have some other ones. I got my Bucky's one that I love. But, um, and, you know, this one won't keep it, your coffee as hot as long. You know, you probably got a good hour, hour and a half. But I'll tell you what, guys. Some of this stuff, you just can't beat some of these prices. I'm not going to go over all of the different dates. Look at this. What the heck is this? Once in a blue moon. Blueberry moon pies. What? I've never seen these before. Huh. We're going to have to try this one, guys. I'd have to try that. Could be terrible. Could be great. But we're going to try it. And where can you find stuff like this? Like, if you like your caramel corn, you're going to a ball game or something. Of course, this ain't... This isn't Cracker Jacks. They used to sell Cracker Jacks. I haven't seen them here in a while. Um, but big bag of Crunch and Munch here. They got Fiddle Faddle. $1.25 can't beat it. Even some of these, like these dippers right here, $1.25 here. These are $1.75 now at Aldi. Those have really shot up at Aldi. Got these different donuts here. Uh, I've tried one of these before. They're okay. They're okay. But yeah, a lot of this stuff's going to be uh, heavily packed with preservatives. Probably last forever. Uh, trying to stay away from a lot of these things, but sometimes we just got to try some new stuff. I'm curious to try it. I'll try these at the end of this video, let you know what I think. So I have not seen any candy shrink any more in size than what it already has shrunk to. Now, some people were saying that they're going to start selling bigger bags of candy, um, and then it'll be more it'll be more expensive and they'll kind of mix it in i have not seen that yet at our dollar tree everything in this aisle here is still a dollar 25. some swedish fish there uh yeah i mean what <laughs> i remember when dollar tree switched from a dollar to a dollar 25 all of this stuff was looking crazy expensive now it's like cheap again because everything else 
at all other grocery stores is ridiculously overpriced. So I came back here to check out to see if they had my garlic and herb uh, pasta sauce here. Love this pasta sauce. It's hard to find. I've been stocking up on it for a while. Um, I get it whenever I see it because a lot of stores don't have it. They've got got four left. I'm just going to take two because I have some stocks. I know a lot of other people like it too, so I don't want to... Matter of fact, I'll even, I'll even pull these forward so people know it's here. I'm pretty well loaded down on it, but I try to buy a couple every time I see it because... I don't know. I feel like this this is kind of going out here. It's going out. I don't see it as much. I see the traditional everywhere and the meat. But the garlic and herbs hard to find. So if you like that one, I want to stock up on some. They do sell some of the different snack packs here for $1.25. I noticed they were three for four at Kroger. You don't have to buy three of them, but that makes it $1.34 a piece. So not a huge savings, but save a little bit by getting them here. But they, they don't have near the selection that Kroger does. Something else good to have on hand all the time is some extra Reynolds wrap, aluminum foil. Uh, with their brand, or with the off-brand that they have, you get more than Reynolds wrap. Uh, that one is uh, 40 square feet. You're going to get 15 square feet with Reynolds wrap. Uh, and you know what? We've used this before. Just fine. Just fine. Um, but yeah, uh, let's see. This, we get the uh, parchment paper here. Pretty good. We don't use much parchment paper, so, you know, we just get get what we can, what we need. Usually have a couple stocked up just in case we run out because, you know, that's what happens. You'll be down to the last one. I always like to be one or two ahead. That's how I look at it. All these different uh, pants here, aluminum pants. Now, some people complain about some of these saying you need, like, two of them. Sometimes they will leak. I've never had that issue, but I could see they're definitely not as like thick as some of the ones like you'll get at Kroger, but Kroger you're gonna pay off. You'd be better off buying two of them and using two of them here. You're only spending two fifty compared to like seven or eight dollars or something crazy at Kroger or somewhere. Okay, so trying the Dollar Tree Thin Mints here. That is really good. Uh, actually, I think, I, yeah, I like them better than the Girl Scout ones too. I'll still buy the Girl Scout ones. I like supporting the Girl Scouts, um, but I gotta say, the cookie of that is way better. I like the thin mint chocolate on the, uh, this one better too, but I, I feel like the cookie's not as good of the Girl Scouts. This is really good. You get a good amount of them too. You get two sleeves, two sleeves for $1.25. They are delicious. Now, we're gonna try this moon pie, which I gotta say, as soon as I open this bag, blueberry smell all over my car here i love blueberries um let's give it a shot okay so kind of strange at first okay i thought i think it's mostly because i was thinking it was going to be strange surprisingly great blueberry flavor in the cookie of the moon pie um, and honestly, like even afterwards here, the aftertaste, I'm still getting, I'm still getting blueberry flavor. It's actually really good, really good. As you can see there, everything else is the same the cookie in the middle there and the marshmallow. It's delicious. This may actually be the best moon pie I've ever had. I'm not a big fan on moon pies. Uh, Jessica likes them. I, th I think she likes the banana one the, the most. The banana's okay. I've never really been a fan, but I love blueberry stuff. And I saw that there and I was like, that's got to be new. Uh, the lady at checkout, she uh, she never tried them. So I don't know. Win-win. I love trying new things and it'd be good. And then it doesn't get wasted. I mean, even if I didn't like it, I would give it to somebody else anyway. You know, because they might. You never know. Don't waste things. Don't just throw them away. Uh, I have nieces and nephews. I'm sure they would like both of these. However, they're not going to get the opportunity as I do love these and I will be eating them as I need to uh, have a snack every now and then. But anyway, guys, awesome trip to Dollar Tree. Uh, I love Dollar Tree. I really do. Um, food items, you know, some items are great deals. Some items aren't. But it's always good to have some of these different smaller items, uh, at, you know, because you're spending a lot less. We saw a lot of the different things that have uh, long shelf life items. They also sell the little things of mayonnaise. I feel like that's a really good deal. They do sell Kraft and Miracle Whip now. Usually they'll have one or the other. I feel like I feel like Miracle Whip is a little more popular, but Kraft, we have a couple of them that we threw in our pantry just to have. Um, but yeah, and really 
some of these things like the the uh the dressings and stuff like the ranch dressing by craft that's a great deal where you're going to save ultimately anyway because like i said before two of those is 16 ounces that's two dollars and fifty cents 16 ounces at kroger for regular price is 349 everything keeps going up guys we got to save where we can good items to throw in your pantry here at dollar tree anyway thank you all so much for watching the video today i hope it helped with all that being said i am out and always remember the adventure is out. Thank you.